Hey y'all, it's your girl and I'm back with a get ready with me video today. This video is sponsored by Poshmark. First things first, jumping right in with my face and this e.l.f. Poreless Primer. I'm going to start by outlining my eyebrows with a angled brush and some just brown eyeshadow powder. If you're not already familiar with what Poshmark is, it's a digital marketplace where you can buy and sell clothing. Be sure to click the link down in the description box to download the app for free. Okay girls, so now I'm gonna go ahead and just put a little bit of shadow towards the front of my eyebrow, but not too much. I wanna leave that kind of naked because I want it to look more natural in the end once we go in with the concealer in a moment. So yeah, I'm gonna do this other eyebrow, which I can never get my brows to look the same when I'm in the fill-in process, so work with your girl, okay? It's gonna look right in the end. It's all gonna make sense. I'm gonna go in with this little spoolie brush and kind of just blend it all in, and you can see it's starting to make a little bit more sense now. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with my NYX concealer and I'm just gonna take an angled brush and just kind of pop that under my brow a little bit, just like so. I'm gonna do the bottom and I'm gonna do the top of my brow and then I'm gonna go in with a baby blender and just kind of blend it out really good. I really, really hate concealer lines. That is like my pet peeve. So I try really, really hard to um, get this concealer like really perfect and if you see like I messed up I just took my spoolie and just kind of brushed it back out and just kind of fixed that a little bit it's really easy to do brows I mean don't let this scare you okay because like brows are not hard once you practice and like just get a routine down they're super super easy so yeah um, I try to blend it out a little the concealer out into my face a little bit because I really hate lines like I said so yeah blend it out a little bit blend it down into your eye um, eyeshadow area a little bit and then go in with a small blending brush or even your finger if you have to and just get those um, lines out of there You guys will have to excuse my hand being wet. I didn't even realize that it was wet when I was doing this, but I had just rammed this sponge under some water. I like to use my sponges wet. I got this mini sponge from icing. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes. I was gonna use my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer, but I decided to go in with my Ruby Kisses one instead. I just feel like that has a thick, thicker quality and that's what I really wanted to go for today. And um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just apply that with the wand and then take my finger and spread it out across my eye. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go in with my Urban Decay eyeshadow sideline. Love this shadow, it's really pretty greenish gold type color and I'm gonna blend that out with my blending brush so there's no harsh lines I'm also popping a nude brown in as well over that shadow all right y'all now I'm going in with my urban decay after dark palette love this palette it's got some pretty colors in it and I'm using this color called supersonic and I'm just popping that in between that nude brown and my greenish gold color that is just gonna give the eye a little bit more pop to it. And I'm just gonna go in with a smaller blending brush and just blend out that color a little bit. I don't want it to be super harsh, just, just a little bit of a pop of color, not too much, just, just some light, you know? Next is time to smoke these eyes out, hunty. I'm using my Naked 2 from Urban Decay palette. I'm using the black color in there. I'm just gonna be patting on some black to smoke out that outer corner. I'm gonna keep applying it until I get to the consistency that I want. So of course, in true fat mom fashion, I have to hold my baby while I'm doing my eyes. My cute little baby boy, Blaze. If you guys don't already know him, he is my newest little addition and he is three months and he's so cute. Um, but yes, he would not let me do my makeup in peace. Y'all know how that is. I'm just going back in with my NYX concealer in an angled brush and I'm just cleaning up all of that fallout and I'm making this smoky eye more crisp. 
For my face, I'm using two foundations mixed together. My Studio Skin from Smashbox, and that's in the 3.35, and my Maybelline New York, and that's in the color Coconut. I love both of those mixed together. They give me, I feel like, the perfect look. I'm going to blend that out with my bigger sponge. Popping in, going in, I'm just gonna pop in look. some false and make complete the very, look. very make this look cute in this eye sultry. even more sultry and sexy than it already is. You know what I'm saying? Going in with just a regular e.l.f. pressed powder and my dark plum scene lipstick from Ruby Kisses. Ruby Kisses can be found at the hair store, y'all. Nothing fancy, okay? Then I'm gonna go in and to my inner corner with this rose gold clay pot from Tarte Cosmetics, one of my favorite favorites. Elf setting spray, yes, girl, yes. Okay, so I also decided to pop in this brownish color on the inner parts of my lips and kind of like smack them together to make sort of an ombre type of look. And that's gonna finish it off. So this is what I came up with, y'all. I like it. I thought it was really cute and kind of sultry and sexy and fun for summer. Now I gotta figure out what I wanna wear for the day. By the way, you will see items comparable to these on my Poshmark closet. I'm really into prints and just comfortable clothes that are really cute. Um, but today I think I'm gonna go with this pink floral shirt. I'm gonna pair this look with a pair of leggings and this really cute coach satchel that I have, and it's one of my favorites, with some gold and white accessories. This is the final look. I really love this outfit. Cute, comfortable, convenient. The accessories go perfect in my opinion. And the face turned out flawless. Okay y'all, so I really hope that you guys enjoyed this Get Ready With Me video. This is the first I've ever done this, but if you like these and you want more, be sure to hit thumbs up on this video. Don't forget to check out my Poshmark link down below and then you can see some things that are in my closet. Feel free to leave your own Poshmark handle down below in the comments as well so we can check out your closet also. And I'll see y'all next time.